Well, that's a problem. So we're going to have to fix that. I'm going to fix that today. In fact, I have the tools with me. Just need a, a T50 and a flat bladed screwdriver. Okay. Let's take the flat bladed screwdriver and pop off the cap that's over top of the top bolt of the seat belt. Then take your T50 on a ratchet and unscrew that bolt up top. And don't lose the little metal ring that comes with it. And follow the roll bar down to the to the floor. And you'll find another bolt at the bottom side of the the seatbelt mechanism. It's kind of hidden back there. You might have to move your carpet out of the way. Then once you loosen that one off, pick it up on the unit and pull out because there's a little catch on it. And now you got your seatbelt free. So let's take this inside and work on it. Okay, so now we've got the seatbelt off of the Jeep and we're back inside. First thing that you're gonna need to do, which I've already done, is drill out that rivet right there. And then once you drill that rivet out, you'll be able to pop this off. Now don't be worried about losing the rivet and not being able to put the thing back together because you could just use a bolt, a, a small bolt with a nut on the back side and everything will be okay. So once you open it up, you can see the inside looks like this. The, uh, the belt is supposed to be wound around there. Uh, underneath this blue cover, which says do not remove, is the spring to pull the stuff back. On the other side is the gears and uh, the associated mechanism to make it stop when you pull too fast. Um, what I see on mine is inside of here, right above this white, is the seam for the belt. And it looks like it's jammed up in there, probably because I pulled it too far and got it stuck. So I can release that by grabbing a flat bladed screwdriver and working the seatbelt back and there it is. So now we can see that it all goes back in. All of it. It would. Now it seems like seems like it's working fine. A lot of times uh, the belt will not retract quick enough and in order to fix that, you got to take this cover, not off, but loosen these two screws and wind it up to make it pull back faster because the springs get loose over the years. Now what happens if you take the cover off is the spring goes flying. So with a Phillips screwdriver, you can take out these two screws on either side of this blue cover. Make sure you push down and that you're sure you're not going to lose it. Because if you let go of this cover, well, this happens. And then your spring is in a mess. So you don't want to let that happen to you. So make sure you keep this plate pressed down. But to add more tension to the spring, all you have to do is rotate it counterclockwise. And this will add more tension on the spring. And then your, your seat belt will retract better. So I would just keep, I don't know, maybe three or four rotations backwards. 
and then put your screws back in. And then give it a test. So that seems to retract pretty good for me. So I'm going to leave it right there. Slip the cover back around here. Make sure that everything lines up. And then stick the bolt through the hole where you took the rivet out. And, you know, bolt with the nut on the back side. And then we'll go put this back on the Jeep. It's as easy as that. But if you did let go of your uh, plate and it went flying, well, here's how to fix that. So if this does happen to you and you do lose the cover, hopefully yours doesn't go flying like mine did. But if it does, then you need to rewind this spring, which is a tangled mess right now. So get this spring back to... Well, looking like a spring again. Whoa. Okay, so on the shaft of your seat belt, there's a notch. And on the outside of the cover, there's a little, a little area there that uh, this spring is going to go into. Now you're going to want to take this spring and go, if everything's spiraled this way like it is, we're going to wrap it the opposite direction. So slip this down into there like so. And Wrap it around the inside here, just like this. Okay, so with your spring wound back up, you should look like that. And then the tough part is getting this to go on there correctly. So you got that little hook on the back side of this one which needs to go into that slot. And then once you get it into the slot, you need to put it down in such a way that you don't lose everything you just did. So like that. Okay. Okay, so now you're back to the position you were at the beginning where now you just need to rotate this and add the pressure back in. 